Hello, I am Britesh and in this video lecture, I am going to talk about structured exception handling in VB.NET. In last lecture, we have seen uh, what is unstructured exception handling. So in structured exception handling, we handle the exception using a structured block that is try catch so let's demonstrate structured exception handling so in this we write try catch ex as exception and in try so this structure we use to handle a exception so let's discuss about this structure in try block we write exception prone code a code which can generate exception or which can cause exception you can write inside the try block and in catch block we write exception handling code so when exception comes inside try block internally that exception is thrown towards the catch block you can see catch block here catch ex as a exception so this ex is the object of type exception exception is a class it is a general class which can catch any type of exception so every exception has a class in vb.net so when exception comes the object of that class is internally thrown by try block towards the catch block and this object ex catches those the exception and after catching you can write what precautionary measure you have to take when exception comes inside the catch block so let's write the same example here dim a comma b as integer right line enter any two numbers a equals to read line b equals to read line let's print the values right line a equals to ampersand a right line b equals to ampersand p and in catch block i will simply write a message error occurred so same example we have taken here which we have seen in the previous video lecture here exception may come if user enters invalid type of value other than integer so invalid cast exception will occur here that will be internally thrown towards catch block and catch block will handle those exception so again write a a so you can see here error occurred all the information regarding exception this ex is holding so if you want to print the actual message even such a message you can write inside the catch block ex dot you can call a message property so if you write aa conversion from string aa to type integer is not valid so this is most popular technique to handle a exception and you can say that even it is most frequently used technique for handling the exception it has a proper structure there is a try block there is a catch block we write exception prone code inside the try block and we write exception handling code inside the catch block you can even write more than one catch block if you want to uh, write exception specific uh, uh, code for handling it catch block see for any type of exception this 
one general catch exception is enough but if you want to display a exception specific message so in this program only one type of exception may come i'll write here uh, dim result as single a equals to read line b equals to read line and i'll just write result equals to a divide by b so there can be a possibility now uh, invalid cast type of exception and if user enter a proper values but if user enter 0 in b so we know that we cannot divide the number by 0 so here also there may be a possibility of coming exception we call it divide by 0 exception so let's handle this exception by using other catch block so catch ex as for every exception there is a class in vb.net class name endings with exception so access violation exception aggregate exception argument exception these all are classes which are created for exception so here you have to use divide by zero exception and this particular exception occurs when you try to divide a particular number by zero so in this case i will simply print a message right line you just write ex dot message so let's enter first number 10 let's enter second number 0 equals to 10 b equals to 0 oops you have to use this now let's write a equals to 10 b equals to 0 attempt it to divide by 0 so this particular catch block is executed in this case and when you write aa conversion from string aa to type integer is not valid means for this exception this catch block is executed so you can write n number of catch blocks with types of exception in try block whichever type of exception is generated that object is thrown towards catch block and with those catch block the object matches that particular catch block is executed if object does not match with any of the catch block in that case the general catch block gets executed so this is what uh, writing multiple catch block there is also one optional block you can write with try catch structure and that is what finally block a code written inside this finally block is compulsorily executed whether exception occurred or not whatever code you write inside finally block that compulsorily executed so such a code you can put in uh, those code you want to execute compulsorily you can write inside the finally block so you will see the message of catch block and we will see program finished for a successful execution we will see the output 10 to program finished so this is what try catch and finally block finally block is optional try and catch blocks are essential there can be only one try block but you can have multiple catch blocks n number of catch blocks in your program but keep in mind you can have only one try block your try block consists exception prone code and catch block consists exception handling code so this is what all about structured exception handling we hope you like this video thanks for watching